Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Now we move on to see the uh, comprehensive example of closing work in progress. Okay, this is the question. Win-win Sinan Berhad makes a product winnie into processes. So the following information uh, relates to, to the two departments. So you have process one and process two. So in process one, you have material introduced into process. The quantity is 12,500 units. Then you have the unit transferred to process two. That means this is your output. Okay, your output is 10,000 units. And then you have your normal loss. Given that the normal loss, the scrap value is 50 cent per unit. And the normal loss is given as 400 units. And then here you have the closing work in progress. Given here, the closing work in progress is 2,000 units. And you are being given the degree of completion for your closing WIP. Okay, you have the material. The material is 90% complete and you have the conversion cost. In here, the conversion cost is 40% complete. And then, this is the cost incurred in the process. So, during the period for that uh, particular process, that means for process 1, you have material. So, the material cost is 24,600 units. Uh, sorry, 24,600 ringgit. And for the conversion cost, this is the cost 33,900 ringgit. With regard to process 2, you have the material added into the process 2,500 units and then you have the finished goods 11,225 units. Expected loss, so expected losses is known as your normal loss. Okay, in accounts, don't put any actual loss, uh, expected loss, so just uh, in account, you can only have normal loss, abnormal loss or abnormal gain. Don't put some other terms in your account, okay, in your process account. Only have normal loss, abnormal loss or abnormal gain. And then uh, for process 2, you also have the closing work in progress. Given here, the quantity for your closing work in progress is 1,200 units. And then this one is the degree of completion for your closing work in progress. Then 100% uh, for your materials and 70% uh, complete for your conversion cost. So it is based on the elements of cost. And then the cost incurred during the process, you have the material cost as well as the conversion cost. So what is it that you are required to do? You are actually required to prepare process 1 and process 2 account. But because now you have the closing WIP, you cannot simply calculate your CPU as the total inputs divided by your uh, the total input in value divided by your total uh, input in quantity. So what you need to do, you have to uh, do some uh, additional work. So that additional work is the statement of equivalent unit, cost per unit and evaluation. So you need to prepare this statement. This, uh, this is... Yeah, actually, you can split this statement into three or you can just combine all these statements into one big statement. Okay, next, you need to prepare the, proper, uh, the normal loss account, abnormal loss or abnormal gain account, if any. Okay, what is the first step? When you get a question like this, the first step is you need to determine the quantity first. So when you get this kind of question, first you need to determine the normal loss, abnormal loss or abnormal gain in terms of the quantity first. So you have to get this figure right first. Okay. So uh, just follow based on uh, uh, the, the template that I've already given to you. Okay. Uh, you have your OWIP. So in this case, you start with your opening work in progress. In this case, we don't have any opening work in progress. So that will be zero. And then at your input. So in process one, you see your input. You have 12,500 units. So 12,500 units as your input. So you and then uh, you don't have any from previous process as this is the first process that you come across. So you will have your total input as 12,500. From the question, you are being given the information that the closing WIP is 2,000 units. So you have to deduct that closing WIP 2,000 units. That gives you your production. And then given in the question, the normal loss is 400 units. 
So you have your expected or normal production of 10,100 units. Uh, given in the question, the actual production, sorry, the unit transfer, the actual output, okay, the actual production, yes, the uh, output that you're going to transfer to process 2 is 10,000 units. So that 10,000 units is your actual production. Based on the expected production, you expect that you're going to have 10,100 units, but you only have 10,000 units. So in that case, you will have 100 as your abnormal loss. Okay. So you do the same thing for your process 2. In process 2, you have the... Uh, you don't have any closing WIP and then remember your output of one process becomes the input of the following process. So in this case, your output, so given in the question, units transferred to process 2. So this is your output of process 1, 10,000 units. So input for process 2 will be 10,000 units. Output of process 1 becomes the input for process 2. So here you will have 10,000 units from the previous process. And then in process 2, you also have additional material added into the process of 2,500 units. Okay, so you have 10,000 plus 2,500, you have 12,500 uh, units. Uh, and then uh, minus your closing WIP, so your closing WIP for process 2 is 1,200 units. So you minus 1,200, you will get 11,300. So that is your production. And then what about the normal loss? So given uh, the information that the expected loss is 125 units. Okay, just focus on the quantity first. So, expected loss is 125 units. So, you will have expected production of 11,175 units. What about the actual production? Given that the finished goods okay, is 11,225. So, you put that 11,225. So, you are comparing 11,225 and your 11,175. So that will give you a difference of 50. So that 50 is your abnormal gain. Okay, so uh, for a start, you have to prepare this uh, template or this, uh, this one first as your workings to identify the normal loss, abnormal loss or abnormal gain from the process. Okay, once you, you already uh, master doing this, then you don't need to prepare this statement. You can just straight away determine from the account. So, but for a start, I want you to first prepare this statement so that you don't get any, you, you don't make any mistakes in determining uh, the quantity of your normal loss, abnormal loss and abnormal gain. So, once you have determined this, then only you prepare the uh, process account. So, be, uh, first, uh, you need to prepare the process account. Then while doing so, you can do the statement of equivalent unit, cost per unit and evaluation. Okay, thank you.